fun. You can go there. Um, if you run across me doing a show, I can get one for you. You could look me up on uh, Facebook or BobRumba.com and I could get you one. I have secret powers. I might have one since I can't manage, but mm -hmm. there's one I'm doing voices too. A lot of people like that one, even though if you don't want to do voices, some people like it just for that too. So yeah, I've, I've got both right here. It's uh, Bob Rumba, Choices of Voices, How to Create Character Voices, and uh, your uh, Publicity Photos Workshop. And yep. uh, I watch them uh, still to this day. They're phenomenal. So Thank really great. That's yeah. nice of you to say that. What a beautiful gesture on your part. Oh, yeah. No problem. Uh, do we have our live act ready to go? Uh, he is not here yet. Okay. Um, but we do have uh, the next act queued up. Okay, so the next act loves the convention so much and the museum. You know, Mark Wade is in charge of the of the convention. So Mark Wade lives in Florida. So this next act is moving to Florida just so he could spend more time with Mark and talk to him about, because uh, he knows Mark's do, Mark does a lot of kid shows. So he wants to find other acts like uh, uh, Bushy, uh, that was just on. Nicholas you know, yeah. Yeah, kids that can sing. Mm -hmm. So, because he found Darcy Lynn, so he figures, you know, he's looking. He's He wants a few, like a, uh, six, eight more of those that he can help be famous. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, don't you think? Yeah, sure. He, he had a show in uh, Branson for a while. I think that's where he did it. And it was a takeoff. It was a live version of Hee Haw. And, oh, wow. and it, yeah, I thought it was a pretty cool thing idea. He had Jet make a puppet that looked like the donkey from Hee Haw. Oh, cool. He used that, yeah. Yeah. But, but Gary sings. And that's who's mm -hmm. next, Gary Owen. Let's look at him, see what he's doing with us today. All right, and I, I do want to say, um, Gary Owen, uh, he used to perform a lot more now. He produces uh, Darcy Lynn's show. Um, but, yeah, he does. Yeah, but uh, he actually sent in this clip. This was, I believe, from a high school lock-in or a college function uh, where he did the uh, uh, vent mask routine. So uh, we'll uh, see this great video of Gary Owen performing the vent mask routine. Yay. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, it's all right. Are you, are you comfortable? Yeah, you're okay. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> you can pull the mask down over your nose just a little bit, not too far. Oh, that's better. Thank you. <laughs> instructor. A dance instructor. I choreograph. Yeah, yeah. 
Could you show us the steps? Sure. Watch this. One, da 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 Hello, can I, I can't hear you. Breaker, breaker one nine. We're here. Oh, okay. we're here. That's it. That was his end. Yep. Wow. I didn't know it was over. Who you got there with you, Bob? This is a baby bear. Yeah. So good. He's good sleep at a guy good, but it doesn't really matter. You know why? Why? They're all up watching this show. So. You know, plus it doesn't matter what's going to occur. It's always have to get food anyway, because they never have any. So, you right. know, I have to go out and work. That's why I have this girl hawk outfit on the, you know, so I could, so I could go get luggage and stuff, mm -hmm. you know, in the sure. hotels. Sure. Yeah. And if I'm little and cute, so like a lot of times I could get people that still took me and you know, can carry their own luggage pretty good right yeah it's a ploy you know <laughs> anyway <laughs> this is a pretty good show i was kind of getting kind of tired though i don't know if i could stay up well i think there's another act coming up here so there is there's lots of acts we got lots and lots yes wow we do. lynn it'll be almost 13 got a tank no he's not <laughs> he's 19 years old he's not a kid they're just kidding him they kid him all the time oh so Okay. So I can't talk him into going to good so I could go to good. No, you can't. And you? No. Forget it. I have to do this. Now, now baby bear, I do yeah. have some good news. What is the news? You guys make money while I was awake. Right? Yes. Looking back hey. at our thermometer uh, here, and you can find this at uh, just following the links in the description to donate today. We now have, uh, we were at 2,551, and now we are at 2,626. So thank you so much for your donations. Wow, that's the greatest. Yeah, it, it really yeah. is. It's phenomenal. Thank you guys for continuing to donate and for sharing this video. It really means a lot. Share it with your family, your friends, your enemies, whoever, whoever still is in your contacts that you have no idea why they're there, but you figure you should yeah. text them in a while and you don't know what to say, send them this video. And it's always fun for a old first impression. And uh, the people that look in the street, people live in the street, they don't have money. They could collect it, right? <laughs> and they could watch your show on the, inside the television, like that's sitting in a window. No, like, it's baby bear, it's 2020. Even the homeless have iPhones. <laughs> they do? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They take Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do they? Wow. Do they have those square things too? <laughs> probably, probably square. makes them more efficient on them. Yeah, on their card, because then it helps pay for their phone, I think. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Their, their new sign says, sorry, we only accept cards, <laughs> no cash. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay, that's pretty good. That way they don't have to worry about getting any germs on them from all the money, all that dirty money. Yeah, yeah. just the germs from the ground, yeah. I don't know about that because I'm short. Yeah. Not as short as Gandalf. No, you're shorter than he is. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was not nice. Well, he'd make fun of me because he'd go, oh, look. Oh, look how short you are. Uh, I know you would. You never met him in person. You just saw him on TV time. 
seems I like that. I didn't see it on TV. I saw it on your phone. It's you seems like Benny got a lot of personal issues, Bob. Yeah, he is. He's like nuts. No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm just a kid. I don't know anything. What do I know? I maybe for our next. I'm sorry, baby bear, but maybe for our next fundraiser, we can, uh, you know, raise money to get you some pants. Wow, I never thought of that. That's a good <laughs> idea. I thought it was okay because I see quirky kid walking around, no pants, you know. Yeah. yeah. Yogi Bear, he has a tie and a hat. That's it. Yeah, Boo talk about bare naked. <laughs> yeah, Boo Boo doesn't even wear a, a hat. No, he just wears a tie. Yeah. There's a lot of animals that are walking around that need clothes. I could start my own. What do they call those things on Facebook? I could start one of those things. Attention right? get, money. Gain money, get money for animals. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's a big thing for cartoon animals. Yeah. I get there is. I think so. <laughs> All right. Can we bring on the next actor? You just want to talk and waste time. No, no. Bring on the next act because I want to go to good originally, you know, or occasionally I'd like to. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Every, you know, at least I don't have to wait till winter like a lot of bears wait. Yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> the next act is from Texas. You got it, Landon. You're going to have to tell me when our live act comes in. I will tell you. I'm, um, I'm contacting, I'm reaching out to him to see if he's available. Okay. So while this act is on, you could talk to him and see what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Because he might have gotten hung up somewhere. <clears throat> anyway, he does corporate shows. He um, can pol he polished up special for this show, and he looks a lot like Bill Demar, the, the ventriloquist. I know who that is. Anyway, they always kid him about that. He 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 like it so. Anyway, here he is, Ian Varilla. Let's give him a round of applause. Yay! Yeah. You can applaud at home. Yeah, wherever you are. Yeah. <laughs> Crap, it's my high school reunion, no? <laughs> what do you see out there? Lots of old faces and lots of new teeth. I'm... Who are you? Ian. Ian who? Don't you remember? No. Christmas. Christmas. Santa Claus had the right idea. Visit family once a year. I saw you at Christmas time. Oh! <laughs> Christmas. This year. <laughs> no, but it's. Did that last month. Get out. Rest in peace. No, no, no. You tired? Yeah. I'll be a jet lag. My age. Everything legs. I got a bus leg. You took a bus all the way up here from Ohio to Detroit Lakes? Yeah. Chris is going to fly you on a real cheap airlines. Senior Citizens Airways. Airlines owned and run by senior citizens. Their motto is, you seen us drive, now watch us fly. <laughs> You can always tell the senior citizens, Jeff, the left blinker's always on. <laughs> Thus, ran in a car, hurts. Didn't feel it. <laughs> ran over a cat. <laughs> didn't you see it? Ran over it, didn't I? I <laughs> what do they can't look like? Look like this. <laughs> The first thing you saw it looked like this. <laughs> what went through that cat's mind? His rear end. <laughs> they can make a cat sound like a dog. Really? He's a butt, fighter's fluid. What do you do? Light a match and the cat goes, woof. <laughs> they can make a dog sound like a cat. That was a good right. 
quick ending. Yeah, that was a clip from one of uh, one of his corporate shows. I'm sure. So he was generous to share that with us. That was a good time. That's actually, you know what, uh, Bob, let's check in on the audience response from that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that, uh, corporate audiences are, are difficult. <laughs> they can be, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but Ian, Ian does a great job. He's based in Texas and so am I. So uh, once this corona thing, uh, you know, subsides, we should all, all Texas events should uh, have a get together. Because that's how many, many ventriloquists are from Texas. It's like amazing. It's great. What is it? Uh, uh, Jeff Dunham, Jay Johnson, Ron Lucas, Terry Fader. Um, You know, the list goes on and on. Yeah. Now, uh, we do, I just got a message uh, from Lisa Sweezy. She asked if you could do your Paul Lind impression for her tonight. <laughs> sure. She must be really bored. Okay. No, I'll do it. Um... Do you want to get dressed as him first? We could uh, play another act while you go get in character. No. I <clears throat> Thanks, so. though. Actually, I think you're there with that jacket. All right, go ahead. Hi. Hi, Sammy. How are you? <laughs> you know, that was a great joke you told earlier. Of course, it would have been funnier if I told it. <laughs> we always liked them in the huddles. Hi, I'm Claude Pertwee, and this is my cat, Beverly. We live next door to the huddles. They're football players. They're savages. <laughs> anyway. That's fun. That was for you, Lisa. Awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. Anything else you anything else you want, Lisa? You just let us know. We're right there for you. In fact, I think Alice in Wonderland is some anniversary or something now, isn't it, this year? I think so. Is it really? That's great. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um also <laughs> Mad about the six degrees of Kevin Bacon. <laughs> uh, because of Facebook, there's only like three degrees of separation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then if it's and then if you're Neil Bacon and you go to the convention, then there's like no degrees of separation. He's right there. I mean, you know, come on. Right, right. Yeah. All right. We going to Indiana? Let's go to Indiana. Well, first we have a commercial. Do we? We do. Oh, yes, we do. Let's go to one of the people that make puppets for us. Right. Soft sculpture characters. Yeah. Here we go with yes, Jeff. Yeah, here we are. Thanks. At the dummy shop. Yep. Here we go. Let's let it rip. Shop. And we are standing in front of the Available Now wall. And we are coming to you to ask you to remember the Ben Haven Museum. Support them if you can. Let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Have a great day. Thank you. Wow. That's a, uh, a wall of puppets. Yeah. Um, it won't keep us away from Mexico, but. <laughs> we can enter we can entertain them and they'll stay on their one own side my, one of my favorite things about uh characters from the dummy shop is that they're all so uh colorful vibrant and uh, unique and just you pick them up and you know i mean talk about it talk about a great character they make they make everything they do custom work uh as well i believe and um you can find all their stuff at the dummy shop.com that's shop s-h-o-p-p-e and it's uh, uh, Jet and uh, Josh do great work. So you should go check them out. They have, uh, that is their available now wall, actually. So you can own one of those puppets if you uh, want to add a new character to your act. Yeah. And see if she's available or whatever. So you can talk to Steve, too. You can call and talk to Steve. For yes. Yes. <clears throat> Okay, are we ready to go to Indiana then? Is that who we have next? Yes, we are. Okay, so 
Um, he and I have to actually make a um, adjustment. He no longer uh, is. He's actually not in Indiana. He is um, in. I believe. Oh, he moves fast since we talked to him last. <laughs> <laughs> he is based in Los Angeles. Okay. Oh, that's probably why he's on in a sitcom. They don't film that many sitcoms in Indiana. I don't yeah. Think. No, not since the movie, uh, the Christmas movie. Christmas movie. Yeah, the one with the the kid that dressed up in a snowsuit, little Ralphie, and oh, right, a Christmas story. Yeah, a Christmas story that was filmed in Indiana. Okay, I cool. forgot what where in Indiana, but the house is there. Like they made the house into a museum, actually. Oh, neat. Yeah, and they sell you know, la- they sell leg lamps to get <laughs> to get by. Yeah. You know, Bob, speaking of uh, museums, that's why we're doing this. Could you talk a little bit about why we are uh, hosting this virtual ventriloquism variety show for those we're, that are tuning in? We're hosting it because we know that if you went to the museum, if you haven't been there already, you would you would love it as much as we do. It's a home for different figures and ventriloquial figures or dummies, as people like to call them. Um, And a lot of people say there's a lot of feeling in that place. You could like they feel like these are alive, even though there's nobody using them at the moment. But you get to see them. Part of that is there's all these things that go into having one of those. There's first of all, there's a guy who made them right? Yeah. The artist that made them. Then that went to the ventriloquist that used them. And sometimes they didn't stay with the same ventriloquist. Sometimes it would end up going to somebody else and somebody else. I always thought that was really cool when they could use the same one over and over, you know, with different people would use them. So sure. yeah, you get all those feelings in it too. So it's pretty, it's pretty neat to think about that. And they have a lot of those on cards um, also that mm-hmm. you can read on the card who owned them and who made them and where they came from, what kind of shows they were in. If you don't know already, because there's a lot of famous ones in there too. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, you can also, I think they have some new ones in there. So you can also adopt one too just like you would at the zoo, you pick out an animal and do- adopt them. You don't get to take them <laughs> home, but you adopt them and that gives money to the zoo. So you, you can adopt those too. So you can always call the museum and find out if there are any open, you know, and see, sure. see who's and there. To donate can go to the description of this post and share it. If you know someone that might be interested in donating, uh, we would appreciate it if you would share this post and, or share the links as well. Um, right now we are at 2,747. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much. For thank you work. very, very much. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank we're, you so much for that. We are going to keep up and keep entertaining you. I, mean, I might yeah. even change clothes. No, I won't. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully yeah. not live. <laughs> yeah. Why not? This is what keeps people awake. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I'll, awake, alert, and scared. So, yeah. Well, I could eat something, though, now, and if I spilled anything, nobody could tell. That's a good point. Yeah, what, uh, yeah during one of these acts, I have to go make some popcorn. This is getting fun. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, anyway, the next act, since he moved to California, then, he's in, up and coming. He's in a sitcom called... Um, Good, what is that? Good, good meth- mythical warning. He was on an episode of that. Good meth. Oh, he was on an episode of that. Okay, mm-hmm. I thought it was on one, but wasn't he on one? Isn't he on one coming up that he's on on a regular basis? I'm not sure. I do know that he's got some great content on his YouTube channel uh, called, uh, I believe, Jack Williams, and he has a podcast that he does as a ventriloquist with his character uh, Foster. And it's a really neat thing because, uh, you know, those that are fans of Bergen know that he was on the radio. And to see Jack Williams as a ventriloquist doing a, a podcast is, you know, kind of, you know, harks back to those times. So it's it's really neat how it all 
meshes and, bl and blends together the, the so essentially just said his name like five times i don't really have to introduce him do i they know his name is jack well, I, had to, oh, I had to plug his stuff you asked me <laughs> okay anyway since you mentioned his name here he is what's his name again jack williams there with you go. Walter. okay go ahead hello i'm jack williams and this is foster i'd rather be asleep right now Today we are raising money for the Vent Haven Museum. That's where all the famous puppets live. Yeah, maybe you'll be there one day. Yeah, maybe I will. Uh... What? You know, just because you have to wear a face mask in public, doesn't mean you should stop brushing your teeth. <laughs> you think I need a mint? I think you need to walk through a car wash with your mouth open, just like, ah. Uh... You, you know, that, that's not fair, Foster, because you you have no teeth. Well, I got my teeth knocked out because I called Elmo a coward and a fraud. You know what? We're, we're, we're getting off topic. We're supposed to be raising money for the Vent Haven Museum today. Okay, right. Yes, there are a lot of uh, really cool figures, figures there. there. Oh, really? Yeah, there's actually figures with uh, real human hair and real human teeth. And I bet they still smell better than yours. Please donate, even if it's just a little. It helps puppets like me escape humans like him. Uh... Thank you. <laughs> That's hilarious. I, I love it. I love everything that he's been doing. That's a great character for him, too. Foster is hilarious. Love that. Jack Williams. Yeah, that's a great one. All right, we're are we now? Nah, we don't have to check it now. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We're gonna see another act. Oh, we're right. gonna... Yeah, you know what? We're we're doing good. I do have new information that one of our, our our last live act um was uh, scheduled for tomorrow night uh, by a uh, mistake error that was made. So yeah. we're waiting to hear back if he's able to mm -hmm. make it tonight. Uh, but we do have a uh, still a bunch of great a uh, roster of great acts. That uh, we have uh, here to share for you all. Yep. So, yeah, we don't we don't have enough acts to make it till tomorrow to put them on at the same yes. time slot. You know? <laughs> <clears throat> but we have a lot, so uh, let's go to North Carolina then. What do you think? Yeah, give us a little uh, introduction while we uh, pull the next one up, Bob. The, we. Uh, Done a lot of great performances for junior open mic at the convention. And uh, he works around town. He he works whenever he can. He wants to thank you for letting him work today. So pretty, pretty swell. And this, I do yeah. want to say, this kid is um, absolutely amazing. He's a friend of mine. And he uh, has performed on junior mics, like you said, and is up and coming. So we're glad to have him on the show. Yeah, here he is, Jeff C. Smith. That's it, Jeff, not Smith. Well, you could say Smith, but I don't think they're directly related. The knucklehead. No. <laughs> okay. Or snuffy. Oh, he might, he might. He might. People might have called him a knucklehead once or twice, but okay. uh, <laughs> here he is, Jesse Smith. Here he is. Ta -da. Hey, Timmy. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Well, how do I have this mask on? Well, because of Corona. You mean a drink? No, the virus. Oh, well, I think you need this mask more than I do. Why do you say that? Because my lips are supposed to move. You heard me. Here, let me get this thing off of you. Well, 
I was going to tell a joke about coronavirus, but it would take you two weeks to get it. Oh, come on, that's good comedy right there. Well, anyway, Jesse, what are we doing today? We're doing a virtual show. Well, why not a live show? Because the convention got canceled. Oh, well, everyone knows who's running for president. Uh, not that convention, the Vent Haven convention. Oh, I knew this would happen someday. We got banned from the hotel. Well, think about it. All the guests walking into the lobby and they see grown men and women playing with dolls. That would creep me out too. No, Timmy, it got canceled because of Corona. Oh, my Corona. Don't you mean my Sharona? Eh, it's 2020, just go along with it. Well, you know, Timmy, during this pandemic, we have to stay at home and wear masks, but we will get through it together. What are you, some motivational speaker or something? Timmy, well, Jesse, you're right. We will get through this together. And just because we're not going to Kentucky this year, doesn't mean we can't adopt a dummy at the Vent Haven Museum. Can I skip this ad? No, Timmy. The adoptions help the museum to build their other one, their new one. Oh, well, it sounds great. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. What did you just do? I coughed. Well, I told you you needed that mask more than I did. And besides, aren't we supposed to be social distancing? <laughs> oh man I, lo I love you know what he did he cough him, did he cough him to death is that what I'm he did? sorry did he cough him to death <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I think he's finally reinforcing social distancing with his puppet ah yeah that's great i, I love i love that jesse's uh wow he's uh so talented and that was a great great bit and that was indeed good comedy so shout out to jesse smith yeah, Smith. <laughs> okay, so where are we money wise? Are we up getting up there further? Well, just a minute. Let's check on it. Okay. Let's see here. You have the pipeline. I'm sorry? You have the pipeline. <laughs> okay, so at with the Facebook. We have three hundred dollars left to reach our thousand dollar goal goal on Facebook with Dwayne's uh, Facebook fundraiser for the uh, variety show um, uh, for the Vent Haven Museum. So, uh, if you want to donate, uh, donate there. You can donate there. It's in the description of the video. All we need is three hundred dollars to reach our thousand dollar goal. So that's awesome. Great right there. Allowed to, we're allowed to go over that, aren't we? We are allowed to go over that. We also have right. on the Vent Haven uh, HTTP uh, uh, colon <laughs> slash slash www.benhaven.org slash show we have let's see we have a grand total so far of two thousand seven hundred and seventy seven dollars phenomenal seven seventy seven that's pretty good good odds there and to remind you all uh tuning in and our good friend bob rumba um you can text donate Text donate to 859-208-2649. I thought we would harmonize on the last four digits, but I don't think it worked. Yeah, it's like that song, 8675. Yeah. Yeah. 85928. Yeah, 8598 Is it a great? We'll work on the melody for that, but I think yeah. By the end of this show, we'll have it. Um, Probably. And I'll have to shave again, too. But, you know. <laughs> Maybe I'll, I'll reach my first time to shave. Who knows? <laughs> we might be on here for a while. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, welcome to those of you just tuning in. Uh, please share this with your friends and family. Uh, let's see. We have uh, John Peasy commented, I love you guys using those Anchor audio mics. <laughs> yes. Anchor is. Yes. Nice. 
We are. Thanks, John. <laughs> the beautiful gesture on your part, too. <clears throat> um, the next act is from New Jersey. He used to do shows in Chicago because I used to do shows with him or go see him. And uh, we would be on the same show. Or um, he used to, he's one of the only acts who could actually do ventriloquism and play the piano at the same time. So he would sing with his guy and then he could play the piano with his other hand, which is like rubbing your stomach and patting your head. You know, it's, it's harder nice. though. Um, and then he got tired of working in clubs that where everybody's drinking and you have to deal with that. And so, uh, he moved forward and he was on Star Search. He did a dry bar comedy, which is no nope, nobody is drinking. And um, he was uh, on Huckabee. Yep. Yeah. And he has a new. Sorry. There's a new book coming out. It's called Irreversible. You and it's um, uh, available on Amazon. Here he is, a good pal for everybody. And he does a lot of Christian shows too. Really good ones. Here he is, Taylor Mason. Give him a round of applause. Here oh, we go. Let yeah. me do it. Okay. Let me do it. Okay, go ahead. Let me do it. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Hi, everybody. It's me. I'm Taylor. I'm Ron and we wanted to tell you guys about something very exciting we're doing with Landon Harvey and Bob Rumba. What are they? Really good people. And we are trying to help raise money for a Vent Haven Museum. How come? Well, usually every July there's a big ventriloquist convention. How come? Well, ventriloquists get together. It's like any other convention. They can meet one another, go over uh, where their schedules are, how they're getting work, how they're writing jokes, etc. Building stuff, building things is part of it as well. That's good. It's great. So this year, because of the pandemic, there isn't one. And well, okay, so we're going to try and raise money uh, by making a video like this. So Landon and Bob, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity. I know those guys. No, you don't. So uh, my name is Taylor. This is my buddy, Romeo. Tell everybody what you've been doing during the pandemic. Nothing. We had to be doing something. I watched YouTube. You've been watching YouTube. Non-viral videos. What kind of videos? Non-viral, non-viral videos. It is boring. I'll bet it. I'll bet it is kind of like us. Um, we're actually making this this video on our YouTube site. It's a website uses cookies. Yep, I know someone else who uses cookies. No need to be sarcastic or mean. Sorry, man. Uh, if you hear a dog barking in the background, that's your dog. That's my. That's my dog. Your dog. I know. Um, his name is Mick. He's a nightmare. <laughs> no, he's not. He chewed me up. No, he didn't. Uh, if you hear a dog barking in a nightmare, don't be scared. Okay, fine. Because who is in charge? What do you mean who? WHO. WHO. The who? The rock band? No, no, no. World Health Organization. Oh, fine. The World Health Organization. I call them who. Okay. Who. Whatever. They said that all dogs cannot get COVID-19. Okay, so all dogs cannot get COVID-19. So let your dogs run free. Okay, I, may, I get the point. Who let the dogs out? Oh my gosh. You know, you are out of control. You are out of control. So what else? I, what else did you see when you're watching uh, TV? So this story is interesting. Okay, tell us an interesting story, buddy. Okay, shoot. Um, do you remember what it is? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm watching TV, okay. News came on, the news. I call it rumor, okay. Nobody cares about your political opinions. Sorry. So you saw the news and it said more cases of COVID. Well, obviously there are more cases of COVID. They're doing more testing and that's going to mean more cases. Exactly. It was like if you did um, testing for IQ, there would be a lot more idiots in this country. Everybody, stop laughing. Everybody, I hope you'll uh, help us support Vent Haven Museum, especially this summer when we couldn't have our convention. They're going to do a viral convention. We stopped. But um, Landon, 
Bob, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Taylor Mason. My website is taylormason.com. Use your cookies. Shush. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Dougie, I want to thank you so much for being a part of this. You know, it's a long day when you keep muting yourself. I feel like Al Gettler on an interview. <laughs> I hear nothing. You hear nothing. Maybe you need to get your ears checked. Should work. <clears throat> Is it okay? I have to go out and come back. All right. Can you hear it now? I wow. I now like to sing a song. Man, Larry, all alone in the moonlight. <laughs> Jackie, what? We're not. Uh, we're not going to sing. Why not? Don't you want to be a pageant ventriloquist? <laughs> I don't sing. I do. No, you don't. I'm the world's only singing jackalope. <laughs> you do not sing. You don't. I. I don't, and you don't. Oh, it's too bad. Yeah, there could have been another one on my titles. One of your titles? Yeah, I'm the mythological creature singer. Country Western star? You're not a country Western star. I found my all name. Yeah, okay. Look, he's back. He is? Yes, Bob Rumba is joining us back again. Sorry. I, 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 I think it was the only way to make, make it so I could hear. <laughs> could everybody else hear Taylor Mason, I hope? Yeah, everyone should. Uh, let us know if you could hear Taylor. I, yeah. believe, I believe everyone could. We hate it when we hate to say your friend and mime, you know, so. <laughs> yeah. Now, Bob, I do want to uh, give everyone an update that's tuning in on here. Yeah. Um, and please make sure to share. Uh, Jackie actually wanted to give the update. I'm the jackal. Right. They yeah. That. I'm from Wyoming. Okay. Let's there we go. That. We got to have somebody in here from Wyoming. Well, thank you. Okay, Jackie, yeah. why don't you, why don't you tell us a little bit about Dwayne Eccles uh, fundraiser? Oh. We just reached one thousand dollars! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's phenomenal, and not to mention on um, the Van Haven Muse Museum. Uh, uh, let's see, Van Haven uh, Museum uh, dot com. We have reached three th uh, three thousand and sixty seven dollars. Wow! Yes, yes. So keep donating. Thank you all so much to those that have donated, and. Uh, Oh, I thought that was a topic, right? It's just his microphone. Now, you gotta make it talk? No, that's wrong, Lucas. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> but anyway, wow, we're doing great. Thank you guys so much for uh, those that have been sharing this video with friends and family. Keep doing so. Um, if you have friends and family, I don't have any friends and family. That, that's okay. I'll share it with myself. Right? I'm a taxidermy mythological creature. Okay. Why don't we uh, continue with Bob Rumba, who's going to introduce our next phenomenal act, and you'll recognize him. Very well. Well, I? Yes. Okay. Winner on AGT. He does comedy, singing, ventriloquism, impressionist. He is the greatest person ever as far as winning a, as a ventriloquist, winning uh, America's Got Talent. Um, we're really, really glad that he could take the time to be on this show. And here he is with his annoying neighbor, Dougie. The voice of entertainment, Terry Fader. Dougie, I want to thank you so much for being a part of this. What? What? You know? No. What? What are we doing, dude? Oh well, well we're uh, actually doing a little thing for the uh, the Vent Haven Museum, and we just want to thank everyone for your support. Yeah, man, support puppets. It's so great. You know, it was about puppets. I love puppets, dude. You do? I do. I think puppets are awesome. That's amazing. So I'm glad you like puppets. Why do you like puppets so much? Well, because you, they only argue with you when you want to, and, and you get paid to play with them. That's a really good point. <laughs> puppets are amazing. We want to thank you for helping support the Vent Haven Museum and keep history alive. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. All right. Well, again, I thank you so much for doing this, Dougie. What? Just introduce the video. Here's my awesome video in support of the Vent Haven Museum. 
You know, Dougie, I, I think a lot of people might be discouraged, and I was wondering if you think you could do anything to help make them feel better. What? Well, you know, I mean, oh, hey, I got an idea. You think you could sing a song? Oh, dude, a song. You mean like, carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. <laughs> Once I rose up for the noise and confusion Just to get a glimpse beyond this illusion I was soaring ever higher But I flew too high For my eyes could see I still was a blind man For my mind could think I still was a madman I hear the voices when I'm dreaming Carry on my way with song. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. Masquerading as a man with a reason. Curate is the event of the season And if I claim to be a wise man It surely means that I don't know On a stormy sea of moving emotion I still that I'm like a ship on the ocean Set across the winds of fortune But I hear the voices say Carry on my way with sun There'll be peace when you are done Lay your weary heart to rest Don't you cry no more Dude, I had the weirdest dream just now. What was it? Well, there, there was these, these boxes over our heads and there's these two guys playing, you know? And, and I was there and you were there, and I could swear I heard background vocals too. Oh, that was that was me. I, I did the background vocals in the post. Well, I didn't move my lips though. Cheater. <laughs> okay. Oh, absolutely phenomenal. Doug, that was Dougie Scott Walker with. Uh, Terry Fader, or Terry Fader with Dougie Scott Walker, his annoying neighbor. Love that. Oh, did Mark Wade send you that hat? <laughs> <laughs> this is actually, uh, let's see if we can get this in here. This is a Vinnie oh, Haven Museum hat. Cool. Yeah. And I thought it was fitting for the occasion. So we're absolutely doing great. Thank you all to donate. You can keep donating on the website. Uh, that is in our description. And by calling the number, Bob, what is our number here? What's the magic magic number is? You want to sing it with me? <laughs> eight, five, nine, two, oh, eight, five, nine, two, oh, eight, two, six, four, nine. Eight, five, nine, two, oh, eight, two, six, four, nine, eight, two, five, nine. Eight, five, nine, two, five, nine. We need, like, background people. Maybe we can get Gary Owen and Terry Fader to do <laughs> Maybe. Do background vocals for it. Um, awesome. Fantastic. Thank you guys so much. You know, keep sharing this video. Um, let us know what your favorite part is of each act in the comments below. Comment. Uh, let's see. Looking at the comments here, we got Frank Logan of Vent Views. Uh, Frank's commenting it up with all of his comments. Oh, hello, Frank. Hope you're doing well. We got Lisa Sweezy. Said, uh, she said, Terry is such a great singer. And uh, yeah, he is. I can agree on that. Uh, Diana Rockwell Smith said, representing my home state of Kansas. Awesome. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. Yeah. Do we want to do another one? 
we got a lot of acts. We gotta we gotta get moving here. We're gonna be milking cows. You know, <laughs> go show an act. Sure. Why don't you Why don't you give us that? Hey, that on... <laughs> what? You, look, you look like you've done that before, Bob. Yeah, Have when I was like five. Do like, you ever do that? What? I had to do that once as a kid. They said we'll teach you how to milk this cow, and I was like petrified, just touching the udder. <laughs> scary. Because cows are yeah, big. Like farm flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, uh, man. We going to Santa Clara, California? Yeah. While I change out the video, talk about our next guest. He's an actor, a ventriloquist, of course. And he did a Little Caesars commercial. So that's cool. And uh, he has a sheep. He's, I think he's probably the only one in Santa Clara, California, who has a sheep. So I hope he doesn't <laughs> have to share it. Yes. Because you know, he, he's the only one that has one. But, if you follow him on Instagram or uh, his uh, Facebook page, you probably know him from his hilarious videos uh, with Stu the Sheep and with some of his uh, news videos as well. He's, he has some great, great stuff out there. Yeah. He, mm -hmm. He's really talented. He's very funny. Very funny. Does yes. great characters. So here he is, Dan Satchel. All right, here we go. Let's hear it for Dan. Yay! Ice cream. Get your ice cream here. Oh, <laughs> look at this delicious little fella. You lick me. Well, that's the idea. Not going to happen. Why not? You're. Your ice cream. No, I'm not. No, no. What are you? I'm a real life boy. <laughs> okay, Pinocchio. What's this tasting name? Well, you see, Pinocchio was a famous character in literature. Oh, aren't we fancy? What? Filthy American. Sitting around munching on pork rinds, watching your Netflix, reading your literature. What's what's eating you? Not you. That's the show, fatty. I'm, I'm, I'm not fat. You're right. You're just stupid. No, I'm not. Yeah, you're a stupid, filthy American sitting around in your underpants playing your Super Mario, eating your own bogus. You make me sick. What? Why are you so angry? Eh. Yeah, I had a fight with my wife. See. You're, you're married? Yeah, what's it to you? Well, maybe I can help. What, uh, what happened? Well, I asked her what she wanted for her birthday, see? Her birthday? Yeah. What did she say? A divorce. Oh, well, what did you say? I told her I wasn't thinking of stinging it much. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, my wife is, uh, my wife is an angel. Yeah, you're lucky mine's still alive. The secret to a uh, to a good marriage is to compliment your wife, Dave. Yeah, I did that this morning, as a matter of fact. Really? Yeah. She looked into the mirror and said, I look fat. Oh, well, what was your compliment? I said, your eyesight's perfect. That's, uh, that's not much of a compliment. It's not very nice. Yeah, what would you know about being nice, filthy American? Swine sitting around farting into your lazy boy, drinking your malt liquor, watching your internet. <laughs> I think it's about time to uh, to take a bite out of you. Oh no, you don't. No, no. When you least expect it, I'm gonna take a wooden spoon. See? Yeah. Sharpen at the end. Okay. Shove it through your neck and your carotid artery. And watch your lifeless carcass drop to the floor. Really? Yeah, then you know what I'm going to do? No. I'm going to lick you. <coughs> no, you're not. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Can you one good reason why not? You don't have any arms. Damn it! Ice cream! Get your ice cream here, filthy American. Hey, 
I see people buy those because he makes different flavors of ice cream. That right, right. often. Awesome. Yeah, but I never mm -hmm. saw anybody actually use one. Oh, it was hilarious. Yeah. I, I love it. Yeah, it's the whole opposite of the look. I mean, it looks like this cherub little cute ice cream cone, and it's got like a family and all this horrible backstory. It's great. Yeah. He, he, Dan is a nice kid. he also, um, something I like to mention about Dan Sapkoff is that he also is a, uh, does characters with puppets. So versus him just playing the straight man, as you saw in that video, he, he played the ice cream guy with the ice cream cone. And he, he is known for doing that on stage with multiple characters. I did an interview with him. It's on my Land and Live channel, a shameless blog. And uh, it was neat hearing his story and how he got into ventriloquism and acting too. I like him doing the Boy Scouts. Like, <laughs> yes like giant boy scouts uh, <laughs> yeah hilarious stuff great Pretty stuff funny. the boy scout ventriloquist <laughs> want to do another act uh sure That's why don't one. yeah why don't you introduce uh the next one bob yeah i want to check our monies after we do this next act so it gives more time for people to you know put some more in okay from Lexington, Kentucky, she actually uses, she works for a bank, but she doesn't have to work in the bank. She actually goes out and teaches children how to do banking properly with ventriloquism. I think that's kind of amazing. So anyway, she is good friends with Trish Dunn, and I know they're both drinking in different parts of the, the world, but they can think of each other while they're having that one that one sip. Ah, oh, this one's see you, this one's see you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, here's Lori Bruner, the greatest ventriloquist. Here we go. Let's see what she's like. Hello, everyone. My name is Lori Bruner, and this is my friend, Lena Lockett. Hey, Miss Lena, what have you been doing today? Well, let's see now. I was sitting around the kitchen drinking coffee, waiting to go poop. Waiting to go poop? Well, yeah, you know, have one of them bowel movements. Miss Lena, I know what it is. What? You too high and mighty to talk about a bowel movement? No, it's not that. What is it then? It's just that poop and bowel movement, that's a P and a B and an M, those letters are hard for a ventriloquist to say. So, so, I'm a ventriloquist, but I am. Use a ventriloquist. Yes, I'm a ventriloquist. Use a ventriloquist. I'm a ventriloquist. Use a ventriloquist. I am a ventriloquist. Okay, you am a ventriloquist. That's what I'm doing right now. You're doing a ventriloquist? I'm not doing a ventriloquist. I can't believe you said that. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Lord of mercy, she ain't got a clue. What are you talking about? You're in my little Mildred. That's Mildred with an M? Yes, I know that. Who's Mildred? Oh, she lady at church. Is she a ventriloquist? Heavens no, she no ventriloquist. She ain't got a clue, just like you. What do you mean? Last Sunday was a church picnic. Yes, someone asked her to bake cupcakes. Well, that's a great thing to take to a church picnic. Well, now, far be it for me to talk about anyone, but her oven is so dirty. She can only bake one cupcake at a time. Oh, Miss Lena. So I said, Mildred, don't you worry. You just stop and pick up a box of ding-dongs. Well, everybody likes ding-dongs. She shows up with a doorbell. Oh no, she ain't got a clue. Just like you. Oh, Miss Lena. Well, what church do you go to anyway? I go to the First United Methodist Baptist Presbyterian Catholic Universalist Church down on West Maple. What do you believe anyway? We believe you can say a thing, do a thing. Long as you don't get caught. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound like much of a church to me. Last Sunday, there was a young man sitting in my pew. You have your own pew? I've been going to that church for 35 years. I sit in the same place every Sunday. 
Well, I know a lot of people like that. So what'd you do? I said, young man, you're sitting in my pew. Did he move? No, he looks up at me, looks back at his phone, and starts texting. Oh, young people these days, they have no respect. No, I tell you what, so you know what I did? What'd you do? I said to him, young man, my name is Lena Lockett. I have a gun in my pocket. You sit in my pew, I'm pointing at you. What? He shot out of there like a rocket. I bet he did. Oh my goodness, Miss Lena. Well, what did you take to this church picnic? Oh, I took some of my boldacious potato salad. Oh, that sounds yummy. I'd love to try it sometime. You're gonna have to get there early. Why is that, Miss Patricia? That's Patricia with a P. Yes, I know that. Lord of mercy. She did everything in sight. Well, what's her favorite food? Well, now, I'm no one to judge. And far be it for me to talk about anyone. Her favorite food is seconds. Oh, that sounds like me. Well, then there's Sister Bonnie. That's Bonnie with a B. I know that, Miss Lena. Lord of mercy. She says she on a diet. Well, good for her. She says she's been exercising, trying to be healthy. Well, now, I'm not going to judge. And far be it for me to talk about anyone. But only thing I see her doing is running her mouth, stretching the truth, and jumping to conclusions. Now, Miss Lena, it sounds like you're gossiping about all the women in church. Oh, I don't consider gossip. What is it then? I consider it expressing my opinion about other people's choices. Well, if you say so. Well, you know what Charles used to say? Now, who's Charles? Oh, he might have seen something. Well, what did he say? He said, he introduced me. He said, this is Lena Lockett. Watch what you say or she'll mock it. What? But she carries my name, and I love her just the same. She is my Lena Lockett. Oh, isn't that sweet? Yeah, you know, I sure do miss him. I'm sure you do. He's the reason I drink coffee. Is that right? Was he a big coffee drinker? Oh, no, he never touched the stuff. What? Then how is he the reason you drink coffee? He reminds me of coffee. How is that? He was rich, he was hot, and he was strong enough to keep me awake all night. <laughs> oh, gotta go. All right. You know what? That was what? Oh, that was Lori Bruner. And uh, yeah. that, that was Lena Lockett. And that is a Jet character. Uh, built by Jet at the Dummy Shop. We had uh, a com uh, Jet did a commercial uh, earlier in the live stream, and uh, that's you know. Wait, wait, wait. How'd, how'd you know it was hers? How did I know it was Jet's. a yeah. Jet? Uh, I had I had seen it on uh, her table, and it has that oh, look okay. to it. I thought it was, I know I know that you could look and yeah. you go so and so made that, so and so made that. So since you right. Well, I'm yeah, a puppy, so, so I'm, I have that eye. Um, it's so, it's, you know, it's so great to see people uh, using puppets to like their full potential. Like I just that bit I had seen Lori perform wow. it a few years ago at the convention. Just it brought the house down. It was so great, and um, you know, I it was fun. I was hoping that she would submit uh, a version of that for uh, for our audience's viewing pleasure because that's such a great character that she. That's that an she older. Works with, so that was a lot of fun. It's another old character to add to our old people repertoire today yeah and you know what mervin i think dated i don't know yeah. You <laughs> yeah i bet you did you know what the thing is uh since we got this thing going on and you can't go visit your family members in a home you know now you get you got old people coming right here you can watch that's why i'm buying the old people puppets especially right now yeah <laughs> They're That's making their own retirement homes to perform in front of. Right. You're going to have your own retirement home at your house. Oh, perfect. With puppets. 
Yeah, you just have to work on. <laughs> anyway.